This has nothing to do with people in this country that came here through the front door. This has everything to do with people who snuck in this country and continue to take from America, including our children. And you talked about fear, you know, that um, illegals are afraid to come out of the shadows. You know, do you want to know what fear is? You know, when somebody reaches in your house and grabs your littlest kid and tortures them, you're afraid of everything for a long time. Heartbreaking testimony on Capitol Hill yesterday from Laura Wilkerson. Her son Joshua was brutally murdered and tortured by an illegal immigrant. Now, she delivered a very stern warning against sanctuary cities and illegal immigration. Joining us now with reaction is someone who testified alongside Ms. Wilkerson. That's Maryland Sheriff Chuck Jenkins. Also with us is conservative columnist A.J. Delgado, former NYPD detective Bo Deedle. Sheriff, you're, you made a very powerful statement and you said. Every city is going to be a border city. What did you mean by that? Well, Sean, what I meant was uh, I've been to the border. I saw the impact of illegal, immigra illegal immigration on the border counties. So I truly believe that if we do not seal the border, build the wall, start to enforce the laws the way they're written, every county will become a border county. And, A.J., you know, this has become such a big issue in the campaign. No mother. I interviewed this woman yesterday. My heart goes out to her. Her son tortured and murdered by illegal immigrants, we're doing nothing to secure the border, and no mother should have to go through this. Why is there not the political will up to this point to solve that problem? You know, it's hard to hear her testimony, Sean, without getting emotional. When you think about it, really, because of illegal immigration, Josh Wilkerson never got to go to his prom, he's never going to go to a baseball game again, he's never going to walk down the aisle. His life ended because of illegal immigration. And I blame all of us because we're all to blame for not standing up to our politicians and saying enough already. Enough of this illegal immigration for your cheap labor or your political correctness. When are we finally going to stand up for the Josh Wilkerson's, for the Kate Steinleys in San Francisco and say enough already? Our children, American children, deserve to be safe. And there's just this pressure of the political correctness of it that you just can't say that. People are dying. People are being victimized. It well, cannot well, continue. You, you, know, you know, Sean, with these sanctuary cities, you know, this is something that's happened around. There's an oh, epidemic this is of important. rapes. Those cities are openly defying the law of the land. Right. And they're, turning, they're not turning them over to ISIS when they're arrested. You got guys who are four or five times arrested. You know, there's an epidemic going on, and the sheriff will verify this. If you look at statistics of rapes across this country, young girls under 14 years old that are being raped by these punks and these gang members across this country, if we don't do something, this is a real epidemic. And then when you capture them, then all of a sudden you turn them over and they let them go. Then, like I told you on your show the other night, if they say they've been here since 2014, they let them go. No. This is so ridiculous. Oh. And this stands out right now. Why? Look, I don't care if you like Trump or not Trump, but I will guarantee you, I know him 35 years, we will stop sanctuary cities. We will stop this immigration. We will build the wall. And America needs you. You don't have to be a Republican or a Democrat to understand we are being raped in this country by illegal aliens. Six. And our kids are at victims. Sheriff, I sat through a briefing with uh, Governor Perry at the time. At the border, 642,000 crimes, including rapes and murders, against Texans in an eight year period. This is no small amount of crime we're talking about. No, it's not, Sean. And each and every one of these crimes is avoidable. If we have taken actions to, as far as enforcement, or at least creating a wall at the border, some sort of enforcement effort at the very highest levels, all this is unavoidable. Just in Frederick County in, in 2014, we had eight cases where rapes occurred, wow. victims between the ages of five and 12. Mm -hmm. By people in my county illegally. It, it, AJ, if you look at the polls, it seems like America has come around to Trump's position. How big an issue in the campaign? It's the biggest issue in the campaign. I think the American public's finally realizing that's why you've seen this huge amount of support for Donald Trump, and it's only growing. Think no matter what your background or even political philosophy, the facts are what they are, and the American people deserve to be, face, deserve yeah. to be safe. Let's stop bickering. Let's unite behind the idea of the wall and enforcing our laws. That's it. All right. And